So guys, Python is becoming a favorite language for a lot of Indian traders because using Python, you can uh, write algos and you can automatically send your orders to your broker's terminal, right? And all this can be done for free. You don't have to pay for anything. So in this video, I thought I will just take one simple example where I will show you step by step how to install Python and how to write a code and how to send your orders to the broker's terminal. And the one example I will take is that of Alice Blue. Although in the subsequent videos, I will show some other brokers as well. But the idea behind this video is to simply demonstrate in a very short amount of time that how easy it is to automate your trading rules, your execution system and building your strategies as well. Right. So without any further ado, let's get started. So guys, this is the Alice Blue terminal. And uh, as you can see right now that nothing has been done so far, right? We have not placed a single order in the system. So what we will do is we will set up the Python system and we will come back here and we will place the orders from Python and we will see how we can get those orders from Python to Alice Blue. So guys, the step number one is to come to this URL and you have to log in with the same credentials that you use for logging into your Alice Blue trading account, right? So I will log in here. So this is basically a blank screen, right? Nothing really is happening here. It just says that create an app. And once you create an app, it will of course show up here. But up until then, it will just say create app. So what we'll do is we will create an app. Okay. So when you create an app, there are two fields that you have to enter. One is the app name and other is the redirect URL. Okay. Now the app name can be any name that you want, right? So in my case, let's say I'm going to call it as a demo app. Okay, I'm going to call it as a demo app and the redirect URL has to be the same, right? So this is the redirect URL that you have to use. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here and I have to accept the terms and conditions. You might want to read it before you accept it. But after you do that, accept it and then create app. Now this is a screen that you will get, right? Now don't be in a hurry and quickly uh, hit that confirm button where because there are two things that you need to copy first. The first is the app ID and the second one is the app secret, right? So this is the secret key. So what you should do is that open your notepad and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my app ID. I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to copy the secret key and I'm going to paste it here, right? This is very, very important. So once you do that, so I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to now hit the confirm button. So right here, it says that app created successfully. And then you can see that this app is shown right here. So the step number one is done. You have created the app that is required for you to integrate Python with Alice Blue. Very, very easy so far, right? There was nothing like a rocket science. Very, very simple. So guys, the step number two is to download a software called Anaconda. And we will give the direct link for you in the video. But uh, what you can also do is you can come to Google and you can search for Anaconda download and just hit uh, search and you will come to this website, which is anaconda.com. And you can simply download from here. Now, as you can see that the download has already started here. Uh, this is something that you don't have to fill out. So just close it out. All right. So as you can see that the download is just finished. So I'm just going to click on the exe and I will run it. Then I will click on next. Now here we have to just agree as we typically do install for just me and the, the system will automatically pick up a path. So I'm just going to say yes, right? And just go and install it. Okay. So the installation was done. So I'm just going to click on next and next and finish. So guys, the step number two, which was for installing the Anaconda program is also done. Now we come to step number three. So for that, we have to basically search for the program that we just installed. That's called Anaconda Navigator and I'm going to click on that and it is going to show all this, you know, this black windows which will keep coming up, but don't worry about it. It's initializing uh, the program for the first time. So it's doing all these things. So no need to worry about it. All right. So this is going to be the home page of Anaconda Navigator and from all these different options that are here, you have to select spider. So just click on launch. So this is the spider window and you can see that here are, you know, these three different panes here, one on this uh, left hand side and uh, on the right hand side you have these two right so for all practical purposes you will be using this guy right here but for the first time you have to run this particular command and the command is pip install alice underscore blue and after you're done you just press enter 
and for a second it will not do anything but it's basically running the program from the background and you will get this message that successfully installed Alice Blue which means that all the packages that you need to integrate with Alice Blue they are already installed and they are ready to go. So we are done with step number three and now we are at step number four which is very very easy. All you have to do is basically come here and you're going to paste this code which will be available for you guys in the description of this video, right? So let me expand this pane to show you what the full code is. So essentially what is happening guys here is that we are passing our Alice Blue login credentials here so that we can place the orders from this terminal to our trading terminal, right? So this is basically where all the Python code will be written and using the credentials that we are going to provide here, it will connect with Alice Blue's servers, right? So here, number one thing that you have to do is that you have to pass your username, then you have to give your password, then you have to pass the two-factor authentication. So whatever is the year of birth, you have to provide that. Then comes the API secret. So remember in this notepad, I copied the API key. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to paste it precisely here. Now this has to be done very carefully because if there is a gap here, the system will not take it as a valid API secret key, right? So please make sure that there's no gap here. And after you have done this, then you have to pass the API ID. So this was a step number four guys, where we pass our user ID and password to connect to the Alice Blue servers. Now let's go to step number five, which is nothing but executing this line of code, which will send our orders to Alice Blue, right? So this is the time where the real fun will happen. So what exactly am I going to trade? So well, here you can see that I have quantity, so I can tell what quantity I want to send the orders for. It can be quantity one, for example, it can be two, it can be 100, it can be 1000. What kind of order is it? So this is a buy order. So you can see that transaction type is buy. If I want to sell it, I can make it sell, right? Then what is the instrument? What is the symbol that we want to trade? So in this case, I can have NSC, that is the exchange and the second one is idea, but I can also make it as to BSC if I want to. And instead of idea, what I can do is I can do PNB, right, Punjab National Bank, right? So you can change the order type from buy to sell and you can select the exchange, you can select the stock and you can make some changes like instead of delivery, you can have it intraday, instead of market, you can have a limit, right? So you can just play around with all this, but right now for the sake of demo purpose, let me execute this order and the way to execute is we will press this run file option. All right, so I'm just gonna pull the trigger. So you see that uh, it tells me that it's running this file and I got the message that success, right? So order placed successfully. So let's go back to our trading terminal and see whether it really happened. So here, when I see that there is one completed order for Punjab National Bank and one completed trade here and in the portfolio, I can see that the order has been placed, right? So guys, basically this is what has happened, right? So here is where, um, you know, we created all of our logic. And when we pull the trigger here, the orders automatically got placed in Alice Blue. So let's do one more thing. Let's make some changes here. So what we can do is that instead of PNB, I can place an order for, let's say, idea. I'm gonna say idea. And uh, I can change the quantity from one to, let's say, two. And instead of delivery, I can change it to intraday. So I'm going to say intraday, right? So for testing this one out, what I can do is let me just mix this window a little smaller so that when I execute the order from here, you can see the position created here, right? So ready? All right, let's do it. Done. I place the order. You can see immediately that a market order has been placed. And we can see that the position has been created for idea, right? So the orders and all everything can be seen here. So guys, this is it, uh, right? I did not want to over complicate the video by adding some more, you know, complex logic behind it. My idea was just for you guys to be able to download Python, to download this Anaconda application and just try it out by yourself. And the confidence that you will get when you will, you know, send one order from Python to your broker's terminal, that will be a real boost for you to you know work more towards automating your strategies or automating your execution system right so this is where we have to go this is one of my goals for 2022 is to automate as many strategies as possible and i really want to help you guys also to move in the direction of automation so i hope that you guys benefited from this video